Facing the siege of three gray wolves, the Tibetan Mastiff did not back down. Instead, it actively launched an attack on the wolves. You could see the Tibetan Mastiff and the wolves both standing up, biting each other's heads. However, the Tibetan Mastiff was slightly inferior, being knocked down by the wolves. Can this Tibetan Mastiff successfully fight its way out of the wolf pack? Don't rush. Let's continue watching. Just a short while ago, this Tibetan Mastiff encountered three gray wolves. You could see the wolves exposing their sharp teeth as a threat to the Tibetan Mastiff. But the next second, the Tibetan Mastiff lunged at the wolves, viciously tearing into the wolves' bodies. But the wolves were no pushovers either. You could see both the wolves and the Tibetan Mastiff standing upright, biting into each other. The wolves relied on their innate advantages bringing the Tibetan Mastiff down to the ground. Other wolves seeing this rushed forward to help, attacking the Tibetan Mastiff from different angles, biting into the Mastiff's body. Although the situation was very unfavorable for the Tibetan Mastiff, its spirit showed no signs of giving up. You could see it stand up, launching an attack against several wolves again. Although some wolves attempted to flank the Tibetan Mastiff, they were always a step to slow. They appeared to want to step forward and help, but it seemed they were powerless to do so. In contrast, the Tibetan Mastiff had a very clear goal, not allowing itself to be distracted by the other wolves. It knew that by dealing with the enemies in front of it, the other gray wolves would naturally scatter. After several rounds of combat, neither the Tibetan Mastiff nor the wolf pack could completely subdue each other, thus concluding this battle. After watching the battle between the Tibetan Mastiff and the Grey Wolves, perhaps most people would think the Tibetan Mastiff is formidable, but the reality is not quite so. Both the Grey Wolves and the Tibetan Mastiff are artificially raised. In other words, the wildness of the Grey Wolves has inevitably been eroded, meaning their combat power is significantly reduced. Even professionally trained hunting dogs cannot overcome wolves with their own strength. For example, these detrained black and white dogs. Their owner brought them to the outskirts to play. However, no one expected to encounter to wild wolves. The black dog instinctively looked back at its owner. And after confirming that the owner was not in danger, it charged at the other white dog attempting to drive away the wild wolves. However, their opponents were fierce and cunning wolves. And they dared not be too aggressive. Seeing the wild wolves not retreating but advancing, they quickly withdrew, because for them, their primary task was not to drive away the wild wolves, but to protect their owner. The black dog and the white dog positioned themselves on either side of their owner. And when the wild wolves attacked the white dog, the black dog, without hesitation, charged forward. The wild wolf didn't expect the black dog to dare to confront it head-on, and was startled, taking a few steps back. Although winning a brief victory in terms of momentum, the black dog was bitten on the hind leg by the wild wolf. However, the other white dog did not retreat. Instead, it acted just like the black dog, courageously charging forward, Ultimately, it successfully helped the black dog escape from danger. The battle between the wild wolves and the dogs resembled ancient cavalry charges as they charged toward their respective enemies. However, the two hunting dogs still had to protect their owner. So they dared not go too deep into the fray. Thus, both sides maintained a delicate balance. Until the appearance of the third wild wolf shattered this delicate equilibrium. But just as the two dogs launched an attack on the three wild wolves, their owner unexpectedly fired two shots at the wild wolves. Although these two shots did not directly kill the wild wolves, it was enough to change the course of the battle. Startled by the gunshots, the wild wolves were frightened, and in a panic, they could only choose to flee. On the other hand, the morale of the two hunting dogs soared, and they effortlessly killed one of the wild wolves. Whether it's a Tibetan Mastiff or trained hunting dogs, 
They cannot defeat wolves in a direct fight. However, when facing the enemy, they did not back down but bravely fought. This spirit is worthy of respect from each and every one of us.